It's not often on this channel that I get a chance to review a product that exists outside of the PC solar system. But my geeking out over technology isn't limited to just graphics cards and SSDs, and as I was a club DJ in a former life, and also dabbled in music production, I like to think that I dip my toe a little bit into the audiophile pool every now and then. This is one of the reasons that I don't particularly enjoy exaggerated bass profiles and piercing highs of a lot of mainstream audio products. They might look cool and kids love to hear that thump in their ears, but their sound reproduction is not true to what the artist intended. I have to admit that I didn't know of the existence of the company One More until I read an article on The Verge about two months ago or so, which I'll leave a link to down below. I was intrigued both by the description of the sound reproduction as well as the price, and I reached out to One More to see if they would send me over a pair for review. These are the One More Triple Driver earphones, and you can get them with either a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or this lightning connector. Let's take a listen. The first thing that strikes you about this product is the packaging. Now, don't get me wrong, at $99 US, these definitely don't fit in the cheap category, but at that price, I definitely think they could be called affordable, especially when compared to some offerings from Shure, Bose, Beats, and Westone. The One More Triple Drivers come packaged in a hard shell, magnetically sealed box with a flip open cover that looks and feels more premium than the packaging that comes with either the $200 Shure SE 315s or my $400 Westone 4s. The inside of the flap features an exploded view of the earphone's internals, nicely displaying the construction of the two balanced armature, one dynamic driver system. You also get an absurd nine sets of tips of different sizes, shapes, and materials. Even people with the most sensitive ear canals should be able to find a comfortable setup here. I tried out three or four of the tips before settling back on the ones that came pre-installed, as I found them to provide an above average seal without exerting too much pressure. This is a minor gripe I have about my 315s, in that I can definitely achieve an excellent seal but at the cost of a bit of comfort. There were no such issues here, as the angle of the ear fittings made wearing these for long sessions great. The exterior housing is made of aluminum and is sturdy, attractive, and resistant to scratches and nicks that might plague plastic earphones if you regularly toss them into your backpack with your keys or something along those lines. The leaders are sheathed in rubber, which is not ideal, but as soon as they merge into the inline control module, the rest of the cord is Kevlar sheathed and covered in nylon fabric, which not only makes it very strong, but also more attractive and far less prone to tangles. In fact, I've had these now for a few months and taken them on several trips, often shoving them in my pocket or tossing them in a bag during the mad rush to deplane. They've never once tangled on me to the point where it takes more than a few seconds to get them sorted out. The cable is remarkably flexible for how dense and strong it is, and you can tell that One More put a good amount of engineering into just this portion of their product. The inline control is rather unique in that it only has one button. The button is multifunction as it works more like a joystick than a traditional single press activator. Pushing the button in toggles play pause, moving the stick left to right shuffles through tracks, and clicking it up or down adjusts the volume. It's a brilliant solution to the problem of not being able to tell which button your finger is on without awkwardly looking down at your chest that many standard earphones seem to run into. Here if your finger is on one button, it's on all the buttons. The only issue I ran into was that I have relatively large hands and correspondingly goofy thumbs, and sometimes I found myself wishing for just a little bit more movement or feedback from the button. More than once I tried to advance a track only to find out that I had accidentally paused instead. Before we get into how they sound, I just want to comment on this, the lightning plug. Now when it comes to mobile, I live in Apple's world. I rock an iPhone and an iPad and my wife does the same. The majority of the time that I'm listening to music on the go, it's through my iPhone. And I wanted to experience a powered set of earphones to see what kind of difference it makes. Seeing as I think the best way to test mobile audio solutions is in a variety of settings, I not only listen to the triple drivers at home, here in my office, but also out in the yard while mowing, in a casino poker room, and on an airplane. Several airplanes, actually. The issue that I ran into was that while in flight, I like to sometimes watch a movie or do some video editing on my laptop, 
And with my earphones sporting a lightning plug, that means that I need to carry a separate set of earphones specifically for the laptop. Now, while this is more a commentary on Apple's courage to remove the headphone jack than a problem with this product itself, it's still kind of frustrating. Luckily, One More does offer these with a standard plug if you want the flexibility to plug them into more devices. But seeing as I did have the lightning version, how did they sound when paired with an iPhone 7 Plus? Outstanding. One More has designed their own app that not only acts as a standalone music player, but also provides functionality like initial burn-in, firmware upgrades, and a fully featured EQ. I was hesitant at first to have to worry about installing yet another music player on my device to go along with Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, Pandora, and others, but it quickly became clear that One More software was far and away the best way to enjoy their signature product. After tweaking the EQ to my liking, I loaded up a few different music samples in different genres. Standard MP3s sound really good. You get a nice full sound with balanced mids and highs and what I would call an appropriate amount of bass. The triple drivers aren't meant to be reference quality, that's reserved for the $200 quad drivers, but they come damn close even with a compressed audio format like MP3. Where the triple drivers really shine though is with lossless audio sources. Apple being Apple, they don't play nice with standard lossless files like FLAX or free lossless audio codec. But of course, they have their own proprietary form called ALAC or Apple lossless audio codec. Because these specific triple drivers are equipped with a lightning connector, this means that the earphones themselves can be powered and consequently driven to bring out all the subtleties of a lossless file. My Westone 4s were touted as reference quality, but in order to get the most out of them, you needed to plug in a separate inline portable amplifier, which is both cumbersome and awkward to carry around in your pocket. The One Mores achieve the same robust sound signature by using the power from the lightning port itself. And let me tell you, ALAC files sound unreal. I was picking up nuances in different specific instruments and guitar strums, and I could differentiate between the different kinds of cymbal crashes. Even in electronic music, I could pull forward the underlying bass patterns or all the other little beeps and squeaks. It's an absolutely stunning listening experience, and I couldn't believe it was coming from a set of $100 earphones. You almost get the feel like you're listening to a set of reference open back headphones with the depth of the sound stage. One More isn't a company that spends a bunch on advertising, so it's likely that you're in the same boat I was two months ago. But now that you're aware that this fantastic product exists, put it on your short list of things to check out soon if you are in need of a new audio solution. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and if you're interested in purchasing the triple drivers, I'll toss a link down in the video description, along with a link to the One More website if you need some more information. Get subscribed to the channel if you're not already, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys next time.